Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Walk down at the 35 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 30 yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first inside the 10 huge play and it's going to be first and goal that one goes for good yardage and a first down yeah that's just a nice gain on second down down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. And down he goes at about the three-yard line. for leadership and on that tackle he showed you why that's the case so here we go it's third and goal from the four and this would break the tie got his receiver touchdown converts the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to make tackles in space. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. He scrambled. 
They bring the quarterback down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, you better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Fires it up. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that in. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 28. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He has some room. And they make the stop at the 49. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Second and 13. Ball on their own 46. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receiver. He's wrapped up for the sack. He sails it long. And it's caught. And he scores. Touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. And he adds the extra point. Bain gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Gets out to about the 21. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And now he's got room to run. They give to the tailback. Gets out to around the 38. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Here's a running play. And he's level at the 49-yard line. Reach the end of one. The Rams lead it by two touchdowns. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. And it's caught. Tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run to the outside. Call it a gain of six yards. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Check number six. Check number six. Hey, defense, let's go. Keep it up, please. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 20. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Tackle made at the 19. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down again. Secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five to play, and that's always a good game. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 30. And they got him. Right, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 23-yard line. 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. Sellers is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 45. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Makes it to the 34. to run. Now let's see if they try to hurry up here. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Brought down around the 18-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 15. Nice run there. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Here we go. Five, five, five. Hot. Jack, Jack. Fox two. Fox two. tackle in the backfield for a loss and they lose possession on down you know that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going now they need a big play here from their defense you really can't say enough about this defense fourth and short and they really showed up on that play it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers takes it up the middle for a nice run we're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The Rams in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis. Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came upfield, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref 
signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got some open field. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. And he is drilled at the 37. That makes it first and 10. Field. He's at the 40, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out. Nothing flashy at all. But now that first down marker is a lot closer. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Can't shake the defense. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five receivers in the formation. The freshman and he's tackled in the open field. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go! And they're in. Touchdown. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here. Offensive coordinator, he realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. So an eight-play, 75-yard drive and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 14-10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he 
he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 46-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. They're about four yards away here on third down. And they get nice yardage on that one. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 47. And they make the stop at the 44. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He makes his way to about the 38. That makes it first and 10. Hurry up, hurry up. On the ball, on the ball. Fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low scoring affair. The Rams lead 14 10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Back 
deep to return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. A score here might effectively end this one. Handoff up the middle. Tackle at the 30. Tailback picks up a good looking 10 yards on the draw. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Throw is incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short, and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. It to the 35 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That's the right way to catch a pass. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 49. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Tigers using their third and last timeout. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. This is the 10th play of this drive. to pick up the first down. Tigers have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. 